Hello everyone and welcome. We are talking about shortest job first. I'm the Kelly Man. أكثر عملية في الزمن. Shortest job first in time, in service time. Non preemptive, so we're gonna look at it uh, in service time. Okay, we are required to answer turnaround time, waiting time, and finish time. Okay. And as in the الحاجات الفاضية finish time, turnaround time, waiting time. Time. All right. What is the idea? Il fikra. Il fikra. So let's know the the idea first before we answer this question. Okay. We have about there is a shot. Okay. All right. You just draw it. Okay. Here is a shop. All right. Nice shop, huh? Okay. Very good. We have a shop here, and this is. All right, the door and we have person here want to get there this is the process and this is the CPU this is the process okay there's a person who wants to get into this shop to drink a coffee this is the first person get in there and took a time any time Okay, that's fine. The first person got into the place and took its all time. It's non preemptive. This is the first one. After this person, there are about three others people arrived at the shop. Which one of these, let, let us assume this is would be, for example, B. C, D. And all of them have arrived after A. So A, for instance, arrived first and took the time. A gil awal, we had the work of Tao, Shirib and Ahwa, the Kulla Hag. After A has arrived, Badam Ehgi, B, C, D have arrived after A. Yani B, C, D, Gum Baduf, Nafsalas. Gum Bad. So B and C and D wants to want to drink a coffee. Want to drink coffee. The person here that sells the coffee put a criteria. Okay. He says the person says uh, the salesperson says um, the person who will stay short time at the shop will I will I will give him his coffee first okay so بالضبط كده الراجل قال ايه اللي هيقعد فيكم اقل وقت في المحل and had the hour to wish. So this person says, the, the person who will stay short time in the shop, I will give him his coffee and then he can go. Go home. So B says, I'm gonna stay at the coffee um, for, for, for example, 10 minutes. B uh, C says I'm gonna stay for 15 minutes. D says I'm gonna stay for 30 minutes. Which one of these do you think the car uh, will be there after A? Of course B. Of course B. Why? Because he will stay at the shop for 10 minutes and then he'll leave. Okay. B will stay at the shop for 10 minutes and then leave. C will stay 15. Okay, and then B stays 30. So, B will come after. Then C will come after. Then D will come after. This is the idea of shortest time first. 
okay non preemptive non preemptive this is the idea so let's take the example now تعال نبص على المثال ونشوف ايه اللي هنعمله okay so let's just clear that out okay to have some space okay all right now you understand the idea دلوقتي انت فهمت المثال تعال نحل بقى okay I'll just put this over there okay okay keep it this way very good let's answer this example let's draw gun chart first there's some gun chart a okay we're not gonna look at b and c and d for now we're not gonna look here a is the first process that has come then it will be finished well stored and finished this is for all any criteria usually a will begin first whatever you want first come or shortest down first whatever the first process will always be come okay will always come and finished okay for shortest time job so it took four seconds for instance just assume we are talking about seconds okay so we just clear that out so a will be here starts from zero and take four after this second we're gonna look now we're gonna just remove the a now we have b c d which one of these has the shortest service time the shortest service time this is the job we have d okay so let's put d d it has what two service time then two plus four will be six then what is after two three b has three we have b 3 plus 6 will be 9. After 3, we have this 4. E. E. And it took 4 seconds for instance. It will be 13. And after that, okay, C. C. It took 5 seconds. 5 plus 13 will be 18. This is the Gantt chart. Okay, very good. So, on this chart, you can see that A starts at zero and finished at four. So it'd be four. D finish at six. Six. B finishes at nine. Nine. E finishes at 13, 13, and C finishes at 18, 18. Okay. Turn around time. Turn around time equal finish time minus start time or arrival time. Okay. Okay. Four minus zero will be four. We we'll just change the color. Okay, 4 minus 0, we are comparing this time and this time. Turn around time equal finish time minus start time or arrival time. So, what will be 4? 9 minus 1 will be 8. 9 minus 1 will be 8. 18 minus 2 will be 16 6 minus 3 will be 3 13 minus 4 will be 9 okay this is the turnaround time the waiting time waiting time look here turnaround time minus service time or purse time some server some 
references call it purse time. Okay, so what is the turnaround time of a? We're gonna look here turnaround time, and we're gonna look at the service time this way. We're gonna come minus for a turnaround time for a will be four minus four will be zero. For b it will be eight minus three. 8 minus 3 will be 5. Okay. Uh, 16 minus 5 will be 11. 3 minus 2 will be 1. And 9 minus 4 will be this is the waiting time and this is the turn around time. If you want to calculate the average, okay, this is very simple mathematical method. Okay, if you want to calculate the average here would be 4 plus 9 plus 18, all right, plus 6 plus 13. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, five operations over, over five, and so on. You want to calculate it here? The same idea. Four plus eight plus sixteen plus three plus five. Four plus eight plus sixteen plus three plus nine over five. The number of one, two, three, four, five. The number of Okay, the processes. The same idea we here. The waiting time will be this one. Zero plus five plus eleven plus one plus five over five. Okay, and here you go. Now you understand the shortest job or time first. Shortest job or shortest service time first and this is gone to chart gone to chart that helps us determine the finish time okay this is the finish time of a this is the finish time of d this is the finish time of b and this is the finish time of e and this is the finish time of c okay thank you for watching اتمنى uh, الفيديو كان سهل فهمه أه يبقى كده احنا بكل بساطة لو بصينا ال A هي جت أو جت أول حاجة مش بيبص بقى على ال B وال C وال D وال E بينفذها وخلاص أول ما ال A يخلصها يبص بقى ساعتها يقارن السيرفيس تايم ببعضه ال B وال C وال D وال E يقارنهم ببعضهم ويختار أقل حاجة لو قارنت دول ببعض يعني دول كده بص على السيرفيس تايم كده 3 5 2 4 ايه الأصغر؟ الدي لان هي اثنين خد الاثنين اهو اوكي ويدفعها على الاربعه تبقى سته طيب بعد كده اقل ايه ايه بعد كده في اقل يعني تدريجيا ثلاثه اوكي ثلاثه اقل من خمسه ثلاثه اقل من اربعه يبقى الثلاثه يبقى البي ثلاثه زائد سته بتسعه بعد كده يخش على الاربعه الاربعه اقل من خمسه اربعه زائد تسعه تبقى ثلاثه بعد كده يخش على الخمسه اخر حاجة مفيش حاجة تاني بعد كده 5 زائد 13 تبقى 18 وهكذا وبكده الوقت ده الأربعة هي الفينش تايم بتاع الـ A والستة هي الفينش تايم بتاع الـ D والتسعة هي الفينش تايم بتاع الـ B والتلاتاشر هي الفينش تايم بتاع الـ E وتمنتاشر هي الفينش تايم بتاع الـ C جبت الفينش تايم جيب التيرن أراوند تايم اللي هو الفينش ناقص الستارت الستارت جيفن والسيرفيس تايم جيفن بقت مسألة سهلة جدا الويتنج تايم هو التيرن اراوند تايم ماينس سيرفيس تايم عندك سيرفيس تايم جيفن والتيرن اراوند تايم انت جبته وبكده يبقى خلصنا السؤال شورتست جوب فيرست نون بريمتيف ثانك يو فور واتشينج اند سي يو ان انذر اكزامبل